right guys, so we are heading over first to drop off some garbage and then uh, we're gonna head down to the shop. Not our shop, not our shop. So good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're actually getting my car down to a shop. So from the title of the video, you guys probably already know, the car is gonna be wrapped at a shop. And then I'm also gonna be showing you guys the new bumpers. So shout out to Keys Motorsports. I'm gonna show you guys the bumpers that came from them. You guys know that my front bumper is pretty messed up. My rear bumper is pretty messed up. So um, actually, no, the rear bumper is really messed up. The front one actually is probably really messed up. So shout out to Keys. But I love about Keys Motorsports bumpers, they also are completely like, they comes with everything, like every single, you know, piece to assemble it, it has it, which is really nice. So anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys when we get down to the shop, pick up the, the wrap, pick up the bumpers. We just dropped off my brother's car. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff real quick. So we just made it to the shop. We got John and Summit over here as well. Well, uh, <laughs> I always call you by Summit, but yeah. Um, basically, we got all the bumpers here in this box. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys. This is from Keys Motor Sports. So shout out to them. I obviously cannot rock that on the top of my car. I'm just too scared. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing open, throw it in the car, and we got the wrap over there, which I don't know if I'm gonna be showing you guys. Mainly because I want you guys to see the wrap, the whole car wrapped, and like, I, I want you guys to see the color. If I reveal the color now, you guys will do research, you guys will see the general gist. I don't think I wanna do that. So let's just go ahead, crack this box open, and then take it down with us to the shop. Bumpers are in, but it's actually sticking out of the sunroof. It's the best we can do. We got both bumpers in there. So yeah, we have, oh, we gotta get the wrap. We almost forgot about the wrap. We gotta get the wrap. Guys, check it out, boys. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. How you doing, Leon? I'm comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. It was a long drive, happy oh, buddy. Let's, uh, let's get down there. Yo, Nora, close the sunroof, dude. Bro, I wish I could. Guys, it's, it's raining. <laughs> oh man, like, really water's hitting my face. This thing's like flapping. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Guys, yeah. that's his car right there. Dang! I think he has like a wide body and everything on it. All right, let's hit him up, see if we can get this thing inside. It is raining, we gotta get the car inside. We are here finally at the shop, as you guys can see. So they're gonna be the, they're the same company that wrapped my, I mean, that tinted my M3. It is raining and I have no jacket. I don't know, mom's gonna slap me right now. I, I should probably have a jacket, but anyways. Um, He's gonna be out in a second. We're gonna finally get the 435 in there. We're gonna take apart the front and rear bumper, and then uh, basically it's gonna get ready for wrap. We already have the wrap, we already have the new bumpers, so I'm super hyped for this. Just get it inside and start taking it apart. All right, guys, we are here at RC Restyling. So basically, got my car here. Um, we have the new bumpers inside the car and everything. I'll pull it out in a second. But we are here with my man, the same guy that uh, wraps, I mean, not wrap, that tin in my windows. And uh, he's gonna make it happen. So you also started a YouTube channel, right? Yes, I did. Um, if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I'm gonna have the whole video of me transforming the car. And it's called Devious Garage. Um, pretty much just started not too long ago and I just wanna, what better opportunity than to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So he's gonna, he's gonna go in detail, not in detail, but he's gonna show you guys the full process of wrapping the car and if anything that seems a little hard, right? You're gonna, you're gonna show them that part? Yeah, so if anything seems tricky, like if you guys wanna end up wrapping it or you guys have the same car or something similar to this, I'll go ahead and just show the areas where I've had most trouble. Try to give you guys tips and tricks to make it a lot easier for you guys. So that's what's super cool about them. They're not gonna be hiding the hard parts. They're actually gonna be showing you guys in detail um, the hardest parts. And then the rest of the car, they're gonna be wrapping it and stuff like that. So for me, I'm just gonna be coming here and seeing the car for the first time. So I'm super excited for that. I never had that moment because you know me and my brother normally do the whole thing and then we uh, we cry when you see it peel. <laughs> so <laughs> that's life. But anyways, um, yeah, so if you guys wanna be seeing it in detail, his channel will be linked down below. It'll be linked again down below when the, uh, when the video drops. But yeah, as of now, we gotta head down to school. Me and my brother got some uh, some stuff to do because it's finals week. And then hopefully after this week, guys, 
This car is gonna get new suspension, new wheels. We just gotta get the wrap. We just gotta get the wrap. It's gonna be so sick. So anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, probably either home or at school. I love these guys. We went ahead and dropped off the car. I'm super excited to come back and see how it is. Guys, we have our suspension and everything for this car. It is ready to go ham. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and drop it off. We'll come back in a week for it. Dang. Shout out to <laughs> the... <laughs> I love these guys, like I said. Anyways, let's head over um, to school and then later tonight, we're gonna be heading over to the shop to get some work done on the 128. So unfortunately, this isn't the, the engine cover you can just pull up, so you're gonna have to actually remove all three bolts, which means I have to remove all that cowl stuff. That sucks, whatever, let's just get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all that cowl stuff, then this engine cover, and this replace these two spark plugs right here. Should be quite easy, but um, it's gonna be a little time consuming. Let's get into it. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight, so we are at the spark plugs. Let's get those suckers out. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be some. All right, guys. So these are the two spark plugs, socket one, and I mean uh, cylinder one and cylinder two. So you guys can see cylinder two is the one that's misfiring. You guys can see that just looks terrible. So let's go ahead and replace cylinder one, cylinder two, real quick. It's just what I do when I'm so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Lay my troubles to rest I'm not gonna lie, it is nice having my hands clean with wearing gloves but anyways, uh, what I did is I only put these two bolts to the two rear bolts. So if anything else happens with the front four cylinders, I'll be able to at least get to it quite easy. I don't have to take all that stuff apart. So yeah, I just didn't put in those two screws. Anyways, I'm not gonna take it out right now because I wanna do a mod real quick. I'm pretty sure spark plugs were the problem, but we're still gonna take it out to test drive it to make sure everything's good. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and add the new mod that I have for the rear end. So you guys know I got an, M, an M1 style rear bumper with quad tips, which are gonna be installed hopefully pretty soon. I can't take this to the shop to get painted just yet because I still gotta get the 435 to a shop to get something done to it, which you guys are gonna be seeing hopefully in the next video. So that's the reason why this hasn't been painted yet, but at least, but we do have a mod that came in that is painted for this car. And it's right back here. So you guys can probably guess from the size of this thing what this is before I even unbox it, but so I'm gonna go ahead and crack this thing open. Ooh, it even comes with tape. You already know. Dang, it actually comes with tape and everything. It's pretty nice. So there's only one downfall to this spoiler, and I'll show you guys that in a second. This one came in at just a little under, a little under like 80 bucks. Like that's super cheap, but this is painted, um, so I don't have to actually go ahead and get this paint match or anything like that. 80 bucks is so cheap. Ooh, buddy. Dang, okay, so this is painted black. I don't know if you guys can see that. That looks super sick. So basically, we're gonna have a lot of black accents on this car, so I figured at least get one that's pre-painted black. It's good enough. This looks super good. The finish is really nice. $80, guys, it really can't beat that. So let's go ahead and put the three in, see how it looks. We're out here getting maintenance done and mods done. And I just like to wing it. Most people like to line it up. I feel like winging it would do just the trick. I don't know why, I do a pretty, I, do, I think I do a pretty good job winging it most times, so. Uh, woo, buddy. Damn, I approve. I approve, that looks good. All right guys, right now with the bumper not paint match, it doesn't look the greatest, but damn, I like it. I like it a lot, that looks really good. Just imagine with the black roof and everything else, once this bumper is painted silver to match and we have the diffuser, I think it's gonna be a really nice accent. I don't like a trunk with no curves. The curvature on this thing is pretty good. Dude, the paint, the guys, the paint on this, this, this spoiler is actually really well done. I'm gonna link this down below. This is an $80 spoiler. It is not carbon fiber, which sucks, but I think it looks super good. Anyways, go ahead and take out the 128, out for a little test drive, and hope to God, everything's a-okay. Anyways, go out for a test drive. All right, well this sucks. I just got the check engine light, so uh, 
Let's go ahead and run this back to the garage real quick. So yeah, back at the shop. It is pouring pretty bad out there, but whatever. Thankfully, we're working inside today. So yeah, we're still getting some misfires. Luckily, the only two screws I put were these two. I didn't put the ones in the back. So we can actually easily remove this and play around with the ignition coils. Let's go ahead and just replace ignition one with ignition two, and hopefully everything is good. Well, not everything's gonna be good, but hopefully we get a misfire in cylinder one instead of cylinder two. So that means it's the ignition coil. So hopefully. All right, guys, you guys can clearly see it's misfiring in cylinder two. So I'm just gonna go ahead, select all faults, go back here, and just start clearing all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and clear these two coats, take it out there for a test drive. And if we get a misfire in cylinder one, it's just the ignition coil. All right, take three. <laughs> Cause that wasn't long at all. I already have, a, I already got the check engine light. Let's just head back to the shop now. All right, guys, we are back in the garage. Just go ahead and run the codes real quick again. See if it's uh, cylinder one or two. Cylinder one, would you look at that? All right, so it is the ignition coil in cylinder one. All right, well, we can't do anything tonight since I don't have any ignition coils. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the car back together. Luckily, it is easy as just putting on the cover again. I recommend never ever putting those two screws back. It just makes life a whole lot worse. Having those two screws only allows you to get to the engine super quick. Alrighty, so this is the dude that's messed up. That sucks. Anyways, let's go ahead and just put on the, uh, the engine cover and then call it a night probably. <coughs> It's nothing we can fix today, but at least it's something as small as an, uh, an ignition coil. It's not the fuel injector. You guys saw how much of a headache that was on the 435. Luckily, this one does not have turbo, so I didn't have to deal with that. I knew it was either gonna be the spark plug, ignition coil, or maybe the valve cover, worst case scenario, but luckily, valve cover is still fine. It is only 44,000 miles, so I wasn't really thinking it was gonna be the valve cover, but if it was, BMW would've had a, BMW would've had a, had, BMW would've had to, had to cover it. Wow, what a tongue twister. Anyways, that wraps it up for today. I'm gonna try to see if I can come back the next, uh, in a day or two and film some more in this same video for you guys. But we did the best we could do. I'm gonna go ahead and place an order on ignition coil. That's a really easy fix, thank goodness. And guys, finally, I got wheels and suspension for the 435. You guys have been asking for that for the longest time. We're gonna be getting a build on this channel soon that's gonna be the giveaway build. So if you guys are looking forward to that, make sure to smash the like button. I'm still trying to find a car to give away to one of you guys. Right now, I'm just trying to deal with my two cars that are breaking down. Hopefully, once, that get, once all that stuff gets stored, I'll be picking up a car for one of you guys. So without further ado, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to check out those hashtags in BMW decals down below. Every single decal supports the channel. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.